Good morning and welcome to Java with Josh. Today we're going to drink coffee and talk about this PRS P20, SE P20. I'm going to play before I talk, I'm not going to tell you what I think until I do, and that's not going to be yet. So here we go. <laughs> string is still ringing. So first things first, incredible uh, sustain. Obviously the projection is, is wild, so you can play very delicately. I've been playing the kind of music you would expect somebody to play on a parlor, parlor guitar. That kind of thing, but it's, it's really everything. test when you can play mixed closed and open note chords high on the neck. Maybe not so perfect there, but let's see if I'm just out of tune. Yeah, so there. Yeah, a little sharp maybe on the B string. acoustics at five times his price. Not bad enough to be a problem. vibration is pretty tremendous on this thing. So you can hear I've muted all my strings. I'm going to hit this high D here and then stop it. And then I'm getting the harmonic off of that D string there. Just things that you don't expect out of a $600 guitar. Thank you. 
guitar have the sound that we expect a parlor guitar to have. But there's an incredible variety of tones through the guitar. My guitar teacher, Ken Bloom, when I was a kid, uh, 15, he said, the mark of a good guitar is that you can get consistently different sounds as you move across the board, one of the marks across the, the string. But how many and how smoothly does it transition? You know, you play a cheap guitar and okay, yeah, it's got one sound here and it's got one sound here and maybe something in between. But this is pretty tremendous, the variety all throughout and the responsiveness. pick attack where it really shines I find is actually for um, not necessarily flat picking but styles where you do have closed and open notes against each other a lot string key. Tremendous sustain, as we said. Sam's coming to visit. What's up, dude? Crazy sustain. Great growl. The other thing that's crazy, and these strings are not new by any stretch of the imagination, but of course, you get a big strong harmonic there. That is incredibly loud and punchy. Here, stupid. But here's what I discovered yesterday. I never knew that the ninth fret harmonic divides the string at the same ratio as the fourth fret one. Because I've never gotten. just behind the fret there. I don't know if y'all are hearing that, but it's like getting pinch harmonics or Eddie Van Halen harmonics on an electric. This guitar it is it is the best price to quality ratio I've ever seen in any product that I can remember at least and certainly any guitar it's it's an unbelievable instrument now this is one I'm sure there are ones that have come off the line that are not as amazing but the thing with PRS guitars that has made me made them my primary instruments although of course I love my outrageously colored Ibanez and my old Telecaster and stuff like that What's made them my, my primary instrument is that they don't make bad guitars. There's no like, oh, well, one every, everybody has one get out every now and again like you hear with other companies. Uh, no, that's not the case. That's not the case when they're green made guitars. This is the only model of theirs I've ever played that's made in China, so I shouldn't speak um, well, more than this one, but I've never heard of one. And certainly not on your S2s or your cores uh, or private stock you're not gonna have a guitar that's not good. So one of the things that 
kept me from PRS for a long time was just, yes, it's brand, not the idea of anything not being good about PRS brand, but we have the romance of these old brands that we've lived with and, you know, we're born into these narratives, literally, uh, you know, Fender, Gibson in particular, and for me, Gibson growing up, my first guitar being Gibson, my first electric guitar being a Gibson, my first acoustic guitar being an Epiphone, which to me was, you know, on the path of Gibson. Those were those things and all your so many heroes playing from the with my favorite music being from the late sixties and early seventies, of course, all all those people were playing Fenders and Gibsons with the occasional, you know, Gretchen Rickenbacker or whatever. Uh, so there's all that romance there, and it's going to take a long time for there to be anywhere near the same level of cultural romance around a brand that's only 30, 85, 35 years old as opposed to 70 years old or older. Uh, that's just going to take time. But I had a saying come to my mind today, last night, which explains why PRS guitars are the go-to guitar for me as far as actually performing and needing to do anything that works, that sounds good, that doesn't have problems, that's in tune. You know, the saying is, results are better than romance. That's not a very romantic thing to say, but it's kind of like what Brent Mason said about, uh, about his guitar, was that it just works. And these are guitars that just work. And this one, I'm amazed, I've had it for 12 hours uh, 18 hours and I spent last night out on the porch with my girlfriend who is the other half of Carolina Twine because this is to be the Carolina Twine guitar uh, visually it's got a great uh, modern vintage kind of look to it uh, beautiful aesthetic not too fancy and an incredible sound that's really complimentary to a duo style a la uh, Gillian Welch David Rawlings <laughs> A long time ago, I left my home for a job in the fruit tree. I gotta play quieter to keep up with my voice because the thing is so loud if I want it to be. And again, it doesn't have to have that. really, uh, you know, clanky, that's a good word in this case, parlor sound, you can be, so you can do almost classical, obviously not, don't come at me classical snobs, but, Coffee. Java with Josh. That is what I call it. 
And uh, this is, well, might as well meet Kendra here. Hi. Hello. This is uh, the other half of Carolina Twine and the better half of Carolina Twine and of my life. And uh, this is the guitar that we are using for the duo. That's what I got it for. And I'm just really floored. Uh, amazing guitar, period, for the money. It's just unbelievable. So um, if you're looking for something different than your usual dreadnought, or if you're just looking for something lighter, smaller, or if you're just looking for an amazing guitar with spending very little money, relatively speaking, it is an excellent option. I recommend it. Thanks, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.